Hi, I'm Erica and I'm a senior keeper at Edinburgh Zoo. So this is probably the least glamorous side of zookeeping. This is what we have to do first thing in the morning, which is prepare the fish for the penguins up the stairs. We work our way through the fish, just check that it's nice for the penguins, not get any big open mouths or anything, pop it in the bucket, and that's us. The problem with wearing glasses down here was that you used to get a lot of fish scales on them. They'd almost really stick to them like a magnet. You spend the rest of the day having to clean your glasses and clean them off. But now without glasses, the fish scales just stick to the gloves. Uh, so it's a lot cleaner, you don't feel like you smell a fish for the rest of the day as well. So obviously one of the biggest things to happen to us in the past couple of years has been the arrival of the pandas. And I'm here with Head of Animal Department Darren McGarry, and now panda expert as well. Everybody recognises pandas, you know pandas when you're a school child. Um, and it's really exciting time for us here in the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland to have the only giant pandas in the UK and that's really important for the future success um, and the conservation breeding programmes of giant pandas and it gives everybody in the UK an opportunity to come here to Edinburgh to see them. You know Erica when you were saying about um, fish scales getting stuck on your glasses you know, just working in a zoo environment with lots of dust, mm. you get dust on your glasses all the time, you would spend half the day cleaning your glasses. Yeah, it was, it, it was quite horrible when you take your glasses off and you see exactly how much dust is on them as well. Um, and especially with contact lenses too, all that dust will, will just go into the contact lenses. My problem was heated houses as well, when you go into hot houses like the lemur house or the bird house um, and then as soon as you walk in your glasses would steam up straight away and, and, and like going to leisure centres and things, it does the same kind mm. of thing, uh, but now it's no problem. So you have worn glasses for a very long time, I had them since I was about nine years old and then obviously I moved into contact lenses eventually and I had really poor eyesight and I had toric contact lenses and I didn't actually think I'd be able to have laser eye surgery. Um, so then I was really surprised when I went to Optical Express and they said, yeah, no problem, you can have laser eye surgery to improve your eyes. I thought, well, I'll go for it. Um, just the simple changes like I can now go swimming. I used to have to um, jump into the water with my glasses on so that I wouldn't swim into people. I used to swim into people and bang into them all the time. So sorry, I didn't mean that, I can't see. I think I've worn glasses probably since I was about maybe 12 or 13. Um, and then I tried contact lenses, but I, I just found them a wee bit fiddly, so I always just stayed put with glasses. Um, but I've got two wee kids, so you'd have them jumping all over you and bashing your glasses around. Or, or they'd try and put your glasses on, and when they do that, they'd pull the legs way out as well. So it was always trying to keep these glasses nice and safe. Um, but now there's no problem at all, so it's, it's just fantastic. <laughs> And I think especially because we work outside, you know, the majority of the time, and this is Scotland, um, the rain was a bit of a problem as well, you know, especially with quite heavy downpours. You know, you, there were times when you could hardly see anything, so you'd be continually taking them off and, and wiping them. Um, but now, thankfully, we didn't bother about that. I was a bit concerned about going for laser eye surgery, but really after my initial appointment with Optical Express, you know, they made me feel really reassured, and I wasn't really worried about it at all. Um, and, you know, after I had it done, now when I look at it, I think I've actually had been more concerned about going for a filling at the dentist. You know, I would go and get a laser eye surgery any time rather than go back to the dentist. Yeah, I, and I felt the same as well. Um, but you read up on it and you talk to people and they really, they put me at ease when I went in and everyone was yeah. really chatty. And in fact, before you know it, it was, it was over and you're yeah. home. So, you yeah, know. for me, it was all over and done with really, mm. really quickly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was nothing to be concerned about at all. It was, yeah. it was great. 
so the thing that I quite like now is that you can go out to the shops uh, and just buy sunglasses whenever you want and you've got a much wider range, you don't need to go to an opticians to buy them, um, you know, you can go and get some uh, Oakleys or, or whatever style that you want, it's, it's great. You mean you didn't want to use those fashionable clip-on sunglasses that you used to get them flipped over your glasses? <laughs> so you can imagine what it would be like working with animals like these lemurs and wearing glasses. You might well lose your glasses.